duct tape, zip ties, Sharpies, all shop essentials. Okay, it's kind of a lazy Sunday afternoon, and I thought I'd do a little work to clean up my truck. I like to use totes in the bed because I can fill them up with stuff that I frequently or infrequently use, put lids on the tote, and then if I don't need it in the bed, I can just throw the totes out real quickly and it's all kind of gathered. But one of the problems I always have is the stuff that I like to carry in the bed. They're always in the way, they're always lying on the bottom, and they're always tangled up in whatever I'm trying to haul. So I thought, well, maybe I could come up with some type of DIY project out of stuff I just have laying around home and come up with a tray or a way to, to store them on the side above that wheel well because then they would still be out of the way. They'd be easy to get to. I'm thinking like a four inch piece of PVC pipe. But I don't want to slide the stuff in from the end. So I think I'm going to cut a slit in the pipe and then I got to figure out a way to attach it to the truck. So the goal is to get all this stuff off of the floor of the bed and get it stored away there on the side somewhere. I think I want the PVC to, to go up against the front of the bed and just rest up there. 53 inches at least. Let's see if I can find a piece of 53 inch, four inch PVC. All right. My wife likes to call this stuff the junk pile. I like to call this uh, stuff I may need someday. That'll work perfect. Fifty-three. Wonder if I can use this chop saw to cut that. All right, I don't think I want to use the full diameter of this pipe. I think I can't obviously slide the spade in or some of those other items. So I'm going to cut a section out of the top of this pipe. I don't want it to be halfway. I want it to be a little over halfway. Halfway, I think, will leave. If I would cut it halfway like this, for example, I think that that will not capture the tools well enough. So I think I want to cut it kind of like this. Cut this section out. From that line to that line. Could just call it five inches. Make it easy. Mark five inches. I love Sharpies. I have a ton of Sharpies and I think they're one of the greatest tools in the shop. I don't think I want these cuts to go all the way to the end. I want to be able to secure it in the front of the bed around the full circumference of the pipe. Maybe I can drill this on the end with a hole saw and then I can round, I'll have a nice rounded end. Eight inches for this. to drill that edge it's like I'm drilling straight down into it well it's making the drill hot I'm just gonna when I come down up to here I'll just cut into that let's cut these long lines out teeth out. I'm just kidding on that one. That's probably a little overkill. I think this grinding wheel actually works the best, but I'd like to have the guard on it for the way I'm using it right now.
course I'll keep this. A grinder with a soft flap disc on it. That'll do a nice job of smoothing up some of these rough edges here. This stuff makes a huge mess. Okay, so that's kind of what it's going to look like in there. It looks good. I can use that hook up front, which I never use because the tonneau cover blocks it. I'll use a great big fat zip tie to secure it on there. There's a hole in this bracket right here. If I put a hole in my pipe right here, I think I'll just use a zip tie from there to there. I love zip ties. I've been saving this really big one for just the right purpose. And I think it'll fit around the end. that's in there it's pretty secure if it's not secure enough I can add more zip ties That's pretty simple and easy. All right, I think this turned out pretty good for what it is. And it utilizes a space in the truck bed that wasn't otherwise being used. Uh, by the way, this is a Ford F-150. It's 2015, so it's the new aluminum body style, uh, five and a half foot bed. So this should work for quite a few people. I don't know why I didn't do it sooner. Well, thanks for watching the video. I hope you found it useful or entertaining, and we'll see you in the next one. Take care. Actually, while I'm talking about Sharpies, there's the best thing that I've ever done in my shop with Sharpies is what I actually let my daughters do every Father's Day. I've never had a way to, to show this in a video, but I always think about it. Starting in 2015, I let my daughters draw on the door in my shop. And then every year on Father's Day, we come out here and they provide a new addition. And I just keep buying more Sharpies and hopefully they'll keep adding more artwork. So they're nine years old. This is for year 10. If they do below each window and then come back and do above each window, they'll be 18 years old when they finish this one. So that's my goal is to have artwork on my door every year until at least they're 18. Maybe someday I can talk them into coming back and doing it beyond 18 or maybe even grandkids one day will be drawn on my garage door. So anyway, let's get back to this.